friends let us try to understand another sonnet of shakespeare that is sonnet number 17 titled who will believe in my words in time to come the first line of the sonnet numbered 17 is beginning with a question who will believe in my words in time to come poet though confident about his writing begins with a question mark trying to take the readers into his confidence to make his sonnet very much realistic poet begins with such a self questioning method the line who will believe in my words in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts tells us how poet is taking a method of self questioning or self examination the sonnet is twofold in its nature the central theme of the sonnet is friendship poet describes his friend through his sonnet and showers all kinds of admiration about his friend and about his french but at the same time poet thinks whether his admiration that he showers through this poem this lyric is the realistic or very superficial poet doesn't want to be superficial he wants to be realistic the whole sonnet in other words is dedicated to the friendship and dedicated to his friend but still even though the subject matter of friendship is very prevalent it should have a realistic touch that is why poet thinks of beginning his verse with a question mark by writing the first line that who will believe in my verse in time to come if it were filled with your high merits and those deserts or what he calls as merits or positive aspects of his friend if the poet goes on describing only the positive aspects it will seem to be superficial unrealistic that is why he must have a realistic touch towards his expression who will believe in my verse in time to come if it were filled with your high deserts though yet heaven knows it is but as a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts if i could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers number all your graces the age to come would say this poet lies such heavenly touches never touched earthly faces these lines are very significant if i could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers number your graces the age to come would say this poet lies and such a heavenly touches never touched the earthly faces these lines are remarkable in expression poet can go on admiring his friend by using colorful words but poet questions himself if i could write the beauty of your eyes in fresh lines with fresh words colorful words describing your grace your merit or beauty the people who come in the next generation or the ages to come would say this poem 
great lies. People will dismiss in the next generation about the very realistic or truthful account of the poet. They will say that this poet lies and the entire verse is full of lies. Because people will think that such a heavenly touches never touched the earthly faces. If his friend is described as eternally beautiful or unsurpassable beauty on this earth, people will doubt that such a heavenly hand cannot touch the earthly creature. There cannot be such a blessed creature on this earth who can be called as perfect beauty or perfect impressive character because all human beings are made up of one or the other weaknesses, shortcomings or loopholes. That is why a ordinary human being cannot be considered as heavenly creature and such a heavenly hand of God will not create such a perfect character on this earth. So, poet knows that if he admires his friend too much, it will be unrealistic, superficial and highly pedantic. And people will consider that it is full of boast and lies. That is why poet wants to be realistic. If his admiration is too high, it will be like old men of less truth than tongue. Poet uses a beautiful comparison, gives an example of aged people. The people at the old age will tell, tell so many lies and their tongues will be full of lies and reality will be very less because the youngsters may not have seen what they were in their youth. That is why poet doesn't want to be like old men who speak less truth and more lies. His admiration if it is not realistic, will be a useless sonnet. And old men who will be jealous of the youth will naturally tell more lies. Even the sonnet will seem to be such a lie and will be hated by the youth or next generation when they read this sonnet of Shakespeare, if the sonnet has only the merits or the positive character of his friend. That is why he wants to see that his friend's description should be impartial and unprejudiced. That will only make his sonnet realistic and worth considerable as an expression of the friendship for beauty and the admiration towards his friend. Thank you.